Good morning, people. No, I'm just kidding, actually. If you don't know what video that is, um, you're missing out. Okay. I'm bored. I decided to show off my uh, soda collection. Yes, I collect soda. I'm a huge nerd. That's cool. Well, it's not really cool, but it's cool to me. First can on the list, we have a, a Coke 2. Most of you, probably if you're watching this video, you know exactly what Coke 2 is, but some of you may not, and there's a whole story about the new Coke deal in the 80s with, you know, Coca-Cola and how they wanted to taste more like Pepsi, so they made a product, changed the whole formula, everyone got mad, and then they basically <clears throat> brought the old Coke back as Coke Classic and then gave uh, Coke 2 its own separate brand, but that slowly phased out throughout the years. I think the last place it was made in the United States was Chicago up until about 2002, and I started collecting shortly after around 2003, so I missed out. I was kind of upset about that because I really wanted to try some. But I had, this can used to be full, but as you can see, uh, it actually it started leaking out of the side because of the pressure built up over the years, and I just drilled a hole in the bottom and now it is empty. But this is one of my favorite cans. I think I paid like five bucks for it on eBay. That's really not that much. Um, that was a while ago. That was probably like two. I've had this probably since 2004. Um, ooh, this is interesting. This is still full, actually. This is an original... I think this was produced in, like, 98. You can see this is the con contour can with the Coca-Cola bottle shape. They thought about producing these cans um, in vending machines, or I don't know if they were going to make them, like, just in vending machines, or just, like, the, this would be the new shape of the can, kind of like the uh, Coca-Cola bottle. But I guess apparently when uh, these were produced and put into vending machines, they got stuck. And, um, yeah, can't have that. This is one of the originals. Uh, this expired January 25th of 99, so it's pretty old. Soda's still in here. It hasn't leaked out yet, surprisingly, which is kind of good, because it's really a cool can, in my opinion, I think, uh. One of my favorites. I didn't really actually, I probably paid about five bucks for this too, but I think I've seen them go for more, honestly, online. So I think I got a good deal with that one. That was also probably around 2004, 2005. I bought that. Four. That's better. We have another, we have a full can of the, actually, I guess it's the original Mountain Dew Pitch Black. I thought I had Pitch Black too, but no, I have the original Pitch Black. I had a can of Pitch Black too. don't know what happened to it, I'm pretty sure it might have been empty, just decided not to save it, but I have the original Pitch Black. This one expired December 13th of 04. So, I don't know, I've seen some of these go online. Um, yeah, I have an original Mountain Dew Pitch Black. We have a limited run, limited run Coca-Cola C2. Basically, it was Coca-Cola's idea of having half aspartame and half sugar soda, with so it was like half the calories, some crap like that. Didn't really catch on. Basically, people either want regular soda or diet soda. I mean, if you're drinking diet soda, you don't mind the aspartame. If you want some calories, you probably just don't care, I guess, about... You probably wouldn't want to taste the aspartame, so you're probably just going to drink a regular Coke for like 140 calories rather than 70 calories. But yeah, this was... Real short run, I think maybe about a year or two. This one expired December 13th of 04 as well. But yeah, I know they phased this out in about 2005 maybe, 2006, some areas. Don't quote me on that because I honestly really don't really remember. But whoever posted it on Wikipedia knows exactly the dates and whatnot. This is, this hasn't, these, that was full too. The C2, that was full. Basically, every one over there was full except for the Coke 2. I have another full one here. I don't know if, I don't know if anyone would remember this. This was, like, popular back when I was in high school. It was, an, I don't know, some idea. I guess 
maybe cherry vanilla Dr. Pepper is what took its place, but this is Dr. Pepper Red Fusion, kind of like cherry Dr. Pepper maybe. I don't know if anybody remembers this. I, I show people this and they go, what the hell is that? I'm like, you don't remember? And they're like, no. So it wasn't obviously that popular, but I think, I, I remember tasting all right. It was, it was decent. You know, it's not like it was the best soda ever, but I liked it. We have a full can here of DNL. Uh, I don't know if you remember the commercials with that dude. I forgot his name. Some black dude from like, he was in that movie Evolution. But he did the commercials where make seven up yours, blah, blah, blah. Very popular. Apparently it was like, tasted kind of like Surge, close to it. I guess Vault took its place now. But they, they had like, they said like this was close to Surge. If you added like more orange flavor to it, it tastes like Surge. I'm not exactly sure if that's what it was. But they said this was like a good substitute. I remember, actually I don't really remember what this tasted like all that much. But this is a full, another full can of uh, DNL in here. Uh, Sprite Remix. Um, I had the Berry Blast Remix. I don't know what happened to it. I think it was called Berry Blast. I had one. I just, I have no idea where it went. Um, probably got drank. I don't know. <laughs> probably got it confused with my other case because I usually buy a bunch of cases of this stuff, save like a can, and then drink the rest. I probably might have left it in the fridge or done something with it that cause it to get drank, but Tropical Sprite Remix right here, the original. This one expired August 2nd of 04. This stuff is actually really good. I don't know why they stopped making it. Maybe another one of those cult things. Doesn't exist anymore, but my dad bought a case to mix with whatever, whatever kind of uh, uh, alcohol he drinks. He mixed it with something, I don't remember what, but it was uh, Squirt Citrus Power. It was like super, I don't know, it might have been more sour or like, I think I had one once. It was like more sour and maybe like, had like, energy, so yeah, it's got taurine in it, it's, it's got energy stuff for you, but uh, they discontinued this, and actually the case is sitting at my dad's house with like three or four more cans in it. So he doesn't really drink it that often, and this thing is probably long expired, but he's still drinking it. So if anybody wants a can out there, totally sell you. He could probably totally sell you one, because I told him he could probably sell this on eBay for money. But he gave me a can to keep. But yeah, I think there's like three or four more cans he hasn't drank yet in that case at his house. So if anyone's interested, Squirt Citrus Power right here. Um, the Mountain Dew logo can that looked like this. Only had it for maybe like a couple months. Changed it real quickly. They... I don't know why, I'm not sure. I thought I thought this was the best looking one personally, rather than the new one with like the ice shards or whatever the fuck's on the on the can. Yeah, this right here. My favorite Mountain Dew can of the recent MTN abbreviation Mountain Dew. Um we have a Mountain Dew Revolution. I actually have several more of these. I'm going to keep them for a while, maybe sell them on eBay when people remember them. I actually have um the newer dues, oh, I don't have the other one that was with Revolution that didn't win before Voltage. I think there were two. I might, I might. I'm not sure, though. I, I don't think I... Actually, I have it in bottle. I think I have it in a bottle. Yeah. Um, but right now, I know that the democracy thing went on. And uh, I have a case. Still has some in there. Quite a few, actually, of uh, Typhoon. And a lot of distortion left. And of course, an unopened box of Whiteout, but that one, so that's being produced now. Don't know how much longer. Um, a lot of soda fans know what Hires is. Can't find it anywhere. Full case, somewhat empty case. Been drinking it. We got Dad's Cream Soda. Dad's Orange Cream Soda. They actually produce this all where I live. And there's only one store I know you can find them all at in cases. But you can mail me or whatever if you want to know where they where you can get them and whatnot um i don't know if this is really rare right now but it's the throwback with the new logo or the retro new like it's new but it's retro i guess you know whatever i really haven't been drinking that just kind of been sitting there i guess 
I don't know. If, I got Sunkiss Solar Fusion. That's not really rare. Vanilla Coke's only produced in a s select cities, I think. We got Coke with Splenda. These I'm all drinking. Crush Lime. Yeah, I've got these guys right here. That's that's mainly what I'm talking about. Probably once I get down to one can, I'll save it again. Or maybe I'll save a few more, you know, to sell later. If people are interested. Yeah. Um, what else do we got in here? This, I was discontinued. No one probably cares, really. But I saved it just because it was discontinued. We got Tropicana Twister Soda. Don't make it anymore. It was delicious orange soda. That's all I have to say about that. Um, what else do we have? There's, this is actually, this exploded. There is still liquid inside here, but it blew up. And um, I'm not sure where it was, whatever, wherever it was leaking sealed itself. <coughs> from the uh, <coughs> stickiness. This is Coca-Cola Black Cherry Vanilla. Limited run again. I liked it. That's not rare. We got an empty bottle of Pepsi Blue. I used to have a whole bunch of full ones. I think I might only have like one full one left. I sold two on eBay for like 10 bucks a piece. But I remember when this stuff got discontinued, I just started collecting. I said, dude, they don't make that anymore. I went to this gas station right, right up the street from my house. And they had, like, a full rack of, like, six or seven bottles, bought them all. They were actually past expiration sitting in the gas station. I think they say they expired in July 7th of 03. I pro probably bought them in September. So they'd been there for a while. Because, I guess, small gas stations, if they don't get a restock of them, they just keep the expired ones in there for a while. Which is good for me, because then I can get, get the can. I actually have a case of this. Still like a six pack of Diet Coke with lemon. So I don't know. No one really drinks Diet Coke with lemon. I thought it was it was decent, but I don't like the diet flavor, so it kinda of ruined it for me. But if it was regular Coke with lemon, it would it would be alright. I like I like I would like it if it wasn't diet. Here's Coca Cola regular with lime. Good stuff. Don't think they make it anymore. Here's a can. This expired November seventh of oh five. It's hard because this box is full of everything, but here it is. I found it. Diet Coke with lime right here. I think this one might have opened a little bit because it feels lighter, like abnormally lighter. But it's still pretty full, and I also don't see where it's leaking. Here's Diet Coke with lime. And then here. This one I saved because I thought it was a really cool design for the Sprite can. It had the little basketball players and people dancing and all kinds of stuff going on. Probably can't really see, but, you know, I thought it was kind of shit. We got a Verner's can. I still make that regular Sprite can. Actually, the old regular Sprite can. Like, this design, I'm pretty sure they used for, like, 10, 15 years, some ridiculous amount of time. Um, sun drops. Best citrus soda. Better than Mountain Dew. It's actually, Mountain Dew's good, like, right? But, uh... Basically, Sundrop, the only way I can describe it, is much more sour. It's it's not, like, too sour, but it is. it has more of a sour flavor. It's got more of a bite. I could, I could describe it as liquefied sour gummy worms. Something my mom's boyfriend gave me. I don't know. The old cherry vanilla can. Or, no, the old cherry Coke can, sorry. It looked a lot better when they did these designs, in my opinion. Um, we got Bark's Red Cream. I have no idea if they still make this. Don't really remember how it tastes. So anyway, here they are. We have Mountain Dew Pitch Black, the original. We got Barks Red Cream. Squirt Citrus Power. Coca-Cola Black Cherry Vanilla. Diet Coke with Lime. Diet Coke with Lemon. Uh, Coca-Cola with Lime. The Coca-Cola Contour Clan or Contour Can, Coke Two, Cherry Coke, Coca-Cola C Two, Dr Pepper Red Fusion, DNL, uh, Sprite Remix, Mountain Dew Cool Can, uh, Mountain Dew Revolution, Tropical Twister Soda, and Sprite, and some other shit and some more other shit over here, but. I don't care about that. And yes, I I do. I don't know where. I wish I knew where that Pepsi Blue was. That's 
bugging me now, because... Oh, oh, yeah, some people might think this is cool, but we have unopened. I've been drinking them slowly, but glass bottle sun drops right here. Right here. See, in Wisconsin, we have all the cool soda, like Hire's Root Beer, Sun Drop, um, Dad's Root Beer, etc. Right, right, Whittles Waffle? Right, Whittly Waffle? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that's it for my collection.